Welcome to another edition of Fit and Fire. I'm Mark and I really appreciate you guys stopping by. So before we get into this video, down in the description below are a number of different links to include fitandfire.com. You guys already know this, but if you're new to the channel, you may not know that my website supplements this channel to provide you with links to a lot of different products to include my EDC stuff, deals of the week, great internet finds, my build lists, and so much more. So by all means, swing by fitandfire.com and check things out. So let's get into this video. So this time we're talking about two products that I have from Hidden Hybrid Holsters. You may know the name. They've been featured on a number of different YouTube channels. And I finally have an opportunity to test out two of their products. Now one of the products is something I'll probably use very often. The other one I'm kind of still wondering exactly how to use it if, if, if it's something I can employ or not, and we'll get to that here in just a second. But the first piece is for one of my subcompact pistols. You guys may know if you follow the channel that I usually rotate between two different styles of pistols. Typically a compact pistol, Glock 19, and then I have a subcompact that I like to carry as well. And that's used for days that I either need to dress up or dress down, like in a t-shirt, shorts, going to the pool or working out or whatever the case may be. So Hidden Hybrid Holsters has gotten me set up with one of their double clip inside the waistband, outside the waistband holsters. I've only worn this for just a couple of days, so it's, it's fairly new to me, but um, so far so good. And let's get into some of the high points and low points for you guys if you're interested in this style of holster. So it's a hybrid holster. If you don't already know what a hybrid holster is, it is going to be a combination of either a fabric or leather backing with a Kydex front. And the reason for that is to help provide you with a little bit more comfortable or comfortability, I don't know if the word, I don't know if that's a word, but we're gonna make up a word, <laughs> and make sure that while you're carrying your pistol that it's not so abrasive as a full Kydex holster could be for some people. So they'll have a leather or fabric backing, and then the front part is going to be Kydex for the retention piece of the holster. It's gonna retain the pistol a little bit better than a full leather holster would. This particular one has a really nice suede backing that feels actually really good against the skin. When I'm carrying it, I really don't notice the suede at all. I notice more of the texture on the grip of the pistol itself, but the suede feels really, really good and it helps retain this holster in place. So you're not worrying about it shimmying all over the place. This suede kind of locks it in against your undergarments as well. So that's pretty cool. It's got two great retention clips here if you're going to wear it on the inside of the waistband. And then if you want to wear it on the outside of the waistband, then you can loop it in through these belt loops right here. So you have an option to do either or, which is a good uh, idea if you want to be a little flexible on how you carry. Now, the one thing about this holster that may not necessarily be a perfect fit for me personally is the fact that this is going to be more of a dominant side or four o'clock, three to four o'clock position carry. And for me, I've gotten away from that. I went to appendix about a year ago and have had really good success with that because of some of the issues that I have with my back and sciatic nerve issues and stuff like that, putting a lot of pressure on my side or at the four o'clock position can really exacerbate that pain that I have to deal with on a daily basis. So this may not be a good fit. Um, I have my good days and my bad days when it comes to pain. So obviously on my bad days, I probably won't carry this, but we're gonna put it into the rotation and see how it does. And I'll come back around here in about a month or so and give you guys an update as to how it is going. The Kydex is really good quality. It is the thicker style of Kydex, so it's the .093 style of Kydex, and then the leather itself is really, really nice. I don't know if you guys like the smell of leather. I do. I've got leather in my truck. <laughs> I take this and I smell it every once in a while because I got a thing for leather, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but uh, it, it is very good quality. The stitching's really good, so definitely something you guys need to check out if you're interested in this. I'll have links to these on my website, fitandfire.com, for you guys to go by and check it out. So that is their holster that they sent me, and I really do appreciate it. Again, we'll come back and talk about it here in the future. 
Now the second product that they sent me is something that is um, kind of kind of an interesting little product. I, I didn't know exactly how I was going to be able to use this product. It is a magazine holster, but it's not your standard magazine holster. It is a magazine holster for your extended magazines, right? So your Glock style double stack extended magazines. Hidden Hiver Holsters has come up with an inside the waistband magazine holster. Now, you look at it and you're like, man, that thing is big. And I was like, man, I don't, I don't, I don't know how I'm actually going to be able to employ this thing because it's, it's pretty big and I, don't, I just don't know. But I took it to the range and I put it through a couple rounds of drawing this from the concealed carry position. And I put it up at the 11 o'clock position, so just left of my belly button, right in that nook between uh, your belly button and your hip bone. And surprisingly enough, it worked out better than I thought it was going to. I didn't have to worry about this kind of digging into my thigh very much because it sits high enough that it's not going to bother your, your thigh or your inner groin area, and, but yet it, it sits low enough to be concealable, if that makes sense. So it's kind of right in that sweet spot for, for me and how my body geometry is set up. And then the next thing is I thought, wow, man, it's a long magazine. How am I going to be able to draw that? And I was able to do it one-handed by lifting my shirt up with one hand and then reaching down real quick and grabbing it and transition as I hope you guys can see in some of this B-roll. So that is a new thing from Hidden Hyper Holsters. And surprisingly enough, I had a lot of fun with it. Now the question may be, why in the world would I need that? Well, I buy into the idea that if I'm going to carry, uh, I'm going to have at least one backup magazine. Because depending on how I'm carrying, where I'm going, so on and so forth, you know, I am going to want as many rounds as possible. I, I kind of buy into the idea of I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it, right? So. There are some people out there that may carry two or three additional magazines. And if that's the way that they want to do it, that's by all means, do it. That's, that's perfectly fine. So Hidden Hyper Holster said, well, why not just carry all three of the magazines in one, one magazine? And there you go. So that's kind of one of the reasons why you might want to want these, one of these. So again, nice suede back. It's going to lock in with your undergarments. So it doesn't gonna, it's not gonna be able to shimmy around too much. And again, like I said, at the range, I had a lot of fun with this. So again, was able to draw and shoot. Didn't really have too many issues. I did fumble once because once you draw this, it is pretty, you know, you get it indexed, right? Let me get it set up exactly how I had it. I had it sitting just like this and you index it, you know, that's pretty long, you know, to try to get it placed into your pistol. So it's just something you'll have to get used to. If this is something that you want to do and carry like this, then you are definitely going to need to practice that draw. So there you go, the two products from Hidden Hybrid Holsters. Let me know what you guys think. Sound off in the comment section down below. Also, let me know, what are you guys carrying? As far as holsters go, do you use a hybrid style holster or you full up Kydex? And what brands are you carrying as well? So there you have it, Hidden Hybrid Holsters. I really do appreciate you guys swinging by. Let me know again if you have had any luck with Hidden Hybrid Holsters. I'd really like to hear about that as well. Thanks so much to all the new subscribers for jumping on board. I sure do appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys here pretty soon. Really all I got this time. Here comes a high five, you guys. Here we go. If you made it this far in the video, then I'd really appreciate you guys would consider subscribing. You can do that right here. Or if you want to check out some other videos that I've got going, check them out right here. If you like the hoodies and shirts that I'm wearing, that's Revolutionary Patriot. I got a link to their website down in the description below with a discount code. And as always, keep on dropping those bells and shells. Thanks, y'all.